Hey guys and welcome back to another Greenville video. So in today's video, we are going to be ranking Greenville buildings in a tier list. You guys seem to enjoy my tier list videos, so if you guys end up enjoying this one, make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content on my channel. So yes, every building in Greenville will be ranked by myself, of course by my opinion. And if you want to, you can create your own tier list. I will have a link in the description down below if you would like to create your own tier list. Make sure to share your results in my Discord server, link in the description down below. Anyways, without any further ado, let's jump into the tier list. Alright guys, we are now in the Greenville Buildings Rating Tier List. I will have a link in the description down below if you guys would like to rank the Greenville Buildings on your own. But yeah, here we are. The first building we have here is Adlet Insurance. So to be honest, I don't like the revamp they did to the Adlet Insurance. So to be honest, I'm going to put this in a C tier. Not necessarily is this building terrible. I just don't really like the revamp. I think the original version was better kind of, even though it was kind of plain. Alright, so the next building we have here is the Greenville Heritage Animal Hospital. This building is complete trash. I don't like it. I don't think many people like it in Greenville. This building has been here since GV2. All right, so the next building we have here is the barn. The barn that recently got it in tier, so that's why I included it. So necessarily, I don't think this building deserves an interior. Do I like it? It's a decent building, so I'm gonna give it a C tier. It's not bad, it's not a bad building. All right, so the next building we have here is Beyond Beauty another building that was recently just added to the greenville update this building looked okay at first before it got the revamp but with the revamp it looks so much better so i'm gonna give this building a b tier i like the building the building interior is amazing it looks very accurate and looks completely nice so that's why i'm gonna give it a b tier for how nice it looks within the interior and the exterior so here we are, the bulk. The bulk is a nice building. It recently just got in a change in the interior, which I do enjoy. So I'm going to give it a nest here. It's a nice building. Would I say it's the best building in Greenville? No, it's, it's not the best building. We have other buildings in Greenville, which are very nicely detailed. The only reason I put this in the S tier is because it's an original building. It's been here for, for a while, so that's why I put an S tier. All right, so the next building we have here is Burger Night and the Cleaners. And the building's okay. It's all right. So I'm going to give it a B tier. I do like the building. It's stylish. It looks perfect in Greenville, but it's not my cup of tea. All right, so the next one we have here is the Senex. Recently just got revamped. The Senex interior is kind of lacking detail. That's why I don't really like the interior of the Senex. But the Leo's Diner is amazing. I do like it. So that is why I'm going to give it an A tier. I would push it up to S tier because it's original. But the building overall is nice. It's just the Senex interior just kills the vibe. Alright, so we have another brand new building, which is Connors, aka Culver's. This is an amazing building. I love the detail. The interior is amazing. The exterior is amazing. So that's why I'm putting in an S tier. Um, a lot of people might not agree with me when I say it's probably one of the best buildings in Greenville. Let me know your guys' honest opinions. Do you think this is the best building in Greenville? Alright, so the next building we have here is Credit Union Bank. Complete trash. I don't know why I don't like it. The exterior just gives it that GV2, GV3 vibe. I'm going to be straightforward. I don't really like it. So the next building we have here is the daycare. The daycare hasn't really been talked about. It's not really that popular in Greenville. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it a C tier. It's not a bad building. I do like the interior, but the building is just not really that popular in Greenville. So that's why I'm just going to give it an the C tier. And the next building we have here is the dealership, no doubt in my mind, S tier. The revamp for the dealership was much needed and I'm glad they added this revamp. So the dealership is S tier. And the next building we have here is the DMV, another really, really nice building in Greenville. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in A tier. It's nicely modeled and detailed and that's why I'm going to put it up in A tier. So the next building we have here is the DOT building, which I completely forgot about while trying to find all the buildings in Greenville in the making of this video. So the building's nice. I got to give it that. It's a huge building. I wasn't expecting them to add like a huge building like this, but it's a nice building, but it's not my cup of tea. 
So I'm gonna put it in B tier. Not saying it's bad, just not saying it's the best building in Greenville. So the next one we have here is the Greenville Fire Department. Really detailed. I don't necessarily role play as a firefighter, but to be honest, it's a nice building. So I'm gonna give it an S tier. It's a nice building, and it's probably one of the most realistic buildings in Greenville. In the next building we have here is the Greenville Plaza, which is next to the Just Buy. I'm gonna give it a B tier. Um, this building's alright, I don't see people going to it, it's not that big of a building in Greenville, it just has 5 stores. In the next building we have here is the high school, so we have the high school which goes to automatically to D tier. I don't like the high school, it needs a revamp, I don't know why they replaced the middle school with the high school, when the middle school looked so much better than the high school. I think a lot of people do miss the middle school that was in GV2, I believe. Alright, so next we have the Greenville Hospital, which is a building that needs a revamp, to be honest. I did mention this in one of my videos, because this needs a revamp. So, for the time being, I'm gonna give it a C. It's not a bad building, it just needs a revamp or a remodel. And the next building we have here is Hunties, a place that used to be interactable, but it's not really interactable anymore, so I'm gonna give it a seats here because they used to have moving animatronics but now they removed it i'm hearing that it's going to be re-added in the next upcoming Google update so time will tell and the next building we have here is the joe's all right so we have the joe's collision this building was basically just an import from gv3 when it was near where the rapid wash was but they put it near the just buy so i don't know what happened with this building why it was in different locations between versions but to be honest i don't really like this building so i'm gonna give it a d tier basically all the buildings in d tier just need a remodel all right so the next building we have here is the just buy a very nice building in greenville i don't know if a lot of people like this building but myself i i like it it's a very nice building so that goes to s tier it's a very nice and detailed building and it's it's very nice all right, so the next building we have here is Burger Haas, another original building in Greenville, which used to be the McDonald's or McDolan's. This completely deserves the S tier. It's a nice building. It has a car wash, it has a gas station interior, a McDonald's interior, and just a drive through and everything like that. And it's just a nice building. I think a lot of people go to this place, and it's quite nice. All right, guys, now we are moving on to... The Metro Police Department, a building I forgot about. I think a lot of people have forgotten about the Metro Police Department. I don't know why they added it. We already have two other police departments in Greenville, so the Metro Police Department is not bad, so I'm just going to put it in C tier. It's not necessarily bad. It's just a building that I have really never paid attention to or really went to. It's a nice building, though. It's very nice in Greenville. All right, so the next building we have here is the motel, which used to be a big thing in Greenville until... A month or so after it released into Greenville. I actually do like this building. It's nice. A lot of people don't go to anymore, which is quite sad because this is a nice building in Greenville. So that's why I'm gonna give it a B tier. Alright, guys, moving on to the Park Ranger building, aka Old FD. Alright, so the Park Ranger building is okay in Greenville. Is it the most nice building in Greenville or original building in Greenville? No, it's Basically just a replacement. I think Greenville developers were just wondering what place they could make for the old FD. And they just picked the Park Ranger. So so I'm going to actually boost it up to a D tier. Alright, so the next building we have here is the Post Office. A building that was revamped. It's a nice building. It's not that big in Greenville. So I'm going to give it a B tier. It's not a bad building. It's a nice building in Greenville. Alright, so the next building we have here is the Quick Dollar. A building that was recently added to Greenville as well. It's a nice building, so I'm going to give it a B tier as well. Not that one important building in Greenville. Alright, so the next building we have here is the Rapid Wash Car Wash, which a lot of people do know in Greenville. This building was actually very nice. I think it's like in the top five of the most realistic or nice design buildings in Greenville. So that deserves an S tier. And then the next building or final building for this tier list, we have the Outgamey County Sheriff's Office. This building is all right in Greenville. It looks like a block. I don't know why it just does. But yeah, it just looks like a block in Greenville. So that's why I don't necessarily like this building. But it's a nice building if you are a sheriff in Greenville. I'm going to put it in B tier. All right, guys. Moving on to part two, we have 
some more bonus we forgot to review in the other tier list, which we have is the subway. The subway is a very nice building in Greenville. It deserves the S tier. I don't know who modeled this building, but whoever did, did a very good job, and whoever came in with the name as well. Moving on to the tax office, another unoriginal building. I don't know why it's in Greenville or they just drive past it and never witness this place. So I'm giving it a D tier. I don't like the building. And then next we have the tech guides, which is also an unknown place in Greenville. So I'm gonna put that also in D tier. So we have the Tires Plus, a very nice place which introduced where you could actually customize your own wheels in Greenville. So I'm gonna put that in S tier because I actually like the building. It's actually quite realistic to the building in real life. The next building we have here is Toys for Trucks, aka Trucks Planet. It's a nice building. So I'm gonna put this in A tier. I know a lot of people do actually like this building in Greenville, and so do I. I just don't really go to it. The next building we have here is The Twist. The Twist is a very original place in Greenville. It's been here since the start of Greenville. So the building is nice. It's had so many revamps and remodels and i think now they have found the pick of the remodel so yes i do enjoy this building and it's a very nice addition for greenville and the next building we have here is the verwire plaza which has energy barbershop verwire and some other places it's actually a quite nice plaza i'm actually quite surprised they did a revamp or remodel with this building the next building we have here is visitors another nice building that recently got revamped in the latest greenville update which i'm gonna put it in a tier it's a nice building it's kind of within that a and b tier not saying the building is bad i just don't see it as an active place in greenville and then the next building we have here is the wolf union bank a very nice and original building in greenville but the only thing I don't like about this building is the name change. Wolf Union Community Bank was an original name they used at the start of GV3 and back. But they ended up changing the name to Fox Mountain Bank, which, don't get me wrong, it's a nice name. I just, it's more original with the original name, and that's why I don't really like the name change. I understand why they had to change the name because of copyright but it's all good. All right, so the final building in Greenville we have is the WSP station. So WSP is a nice building. It kind of seems, I kind of want a revamp with this one. It's kind of like the Allegheny County Sheriff's Office where it doesn't have much detail. And I think it's an unoriginal building because I don't think there's a police station located at this specific location. But yeah, I don't know if there's an actual police station somewhere around Greenville, Wisconsin in real life, but hopefully we will get a remodel or an actual police department that actually looks like one of the police stations in Greenville, Wisconsin. But time will tell. All right, so I'm gonna give this an S tier. It's an original building It's been here for a while and it's just a nice building. The interior is very nice A lot of these tier list icons that are in S tier are mainly Realistic buildings or original buildings that have been here since GV1 and GV2 All right, we have now officially ranked all the buildings in Greenville I hope I did not miss any buildings in Greenville if I did let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, prop buildings were not counted in this video because they're not official buildings, they're just props. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you end up enjoying today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any future content on my channel. If you guys would like to create your own tier list where you rank Greenville buildings, I will have a link in the description down below to create your own tier list. And make sure to share your results in my Discord server linked in the description down below. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you agree with my opinion? I mean, I do. Some of the buildings are good in Greenville. Some of them are just just need a revamp within the future of Greenville. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.